Today is how to determine if you are overtraining, if you're exercising too much, not taking enough rest, using not eating enough calories, and it's a very common problem that a lot of people don't know that they suffer from, and it can make a huge difference on your progress that you make in, in the gym and with your physique and your recovery. Because a lot of people think that they have to keep exercising and keep exercising in order to get the physique that they want, but it's actually the other way around, is that you have to train intensely, but you have to give your body enough time to recover. Because when you go to the gym and you do resistance training or weight training, which everybody should do, men and women, no matter what you're trying to do, if you're trying to gain lean muscle or lose body fat, you always want to do some type of resistance training. But resistance training actually breaks down your body, it breaks down muscle, and then you recover and you regenerate and you heal to grow more muscle and change the way that you look when you rest when you leave the gym. That's with adequate sleep and also adequate caloric intake and nutritional ratios because if you break your body down but you don't give it enough nutrients and fuel to rebuild what you just asked it to do, then your physique's not going to change. You're not going to have the look that you want to. So if you're not seeing some visible changes in the mirror with you know like six to eight weeks of training minimum, then you know you're doing something wrong. If you're soft, if you got low energy, you're constantly sore or you're getting sick all the time and you're losing your strength in the gym, that means that you're pushing yourself too hard. You need to at least take some time off. And if you're training once or twice a day, like doing your cardio in the morning, your resistance training at night, then you better be dead spot on with your nutrition. So an easy way to determine if you're overtraining is one, to definitely take three days off without question. Take three days off from anything just to rest and relax. And what you do is, in the morning when you wake up, before you put one foot out of bed, I want you to take your resting heart rate. It's very easy to do. You're going to put your hand right on the side of your neck and put it on the outside part of your wrist to find your heartbeat. And all I want you to do is just feel and count those beats. And the way you're going to do it is just count for 10 seconds how many beats you've got and then multiply times 6. So it's going to give you 60 seconds. So you do that every single day for 3 days then you take that average. So you add all three days up and you divide by three. That's your morning average resting heart rate. <clears throat> so once you have that, then when you start training again, a few times a week, I want you to do the same thing. Just periodically check your heart rate in the morning before you get out of bed. And if that number, that average, if you start to drift up above that, like five, six beats above that, say arbitrarily you got 75 beats per minute, then all of a sudden a few days in a row then you start to get up to 80 <clears throat> that means that you're starting to overtrain your body's beginning to compensate too much and then that means either one you need to take a day's rest two look at your caloric intake uh, or the type of training that you're doing so remember you want to give your body adequate rest to recover because that's when you regenerate and you repair not when you work out so not working out is more of a mental thing than a physical thing i promise you if you train intense give yourself adequate rest proper nutrition, you'll notice a huge difference on the way your physique looks and how you feel inside, okay? So to review, take three days off straight out of the gate, do nothing. After that, three days, for three days in a row in the morning, take your heart rate, average it out, those three days, add those numbers up, divide by three, that's your baseline uh, morning heart rate that you want to go by, all right? That's a good benchmark for you to start on. At the end of the video, I'll post my website. If you got any questions, you can reach me by email or phone. This is Dr. Perry coming at you. Hope you enjoyed our segment today. Stay tuned coming up in the future for some more videos and some new ebooks and stuff coming at you once I get stuff settled in. Until then, it's always good to see you. We'll see you on the other side. Take care.